Welcome to IIT Mathematics Founders 2017 IMF YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain an important topic from geometry. Some of the angles at vertices of a complex geometrical figure. Let us observe the figures here. Here are some complex geometrical figures. Now today we are going to learn what is the sum of the angles formed at the vertices of these particular complex geometrical figures that we are going to learn using a common method. Before learning this concept, let us try to recollect few points regarding geometry. Sum of interior angles of a polygon. Let us observe, here is a hexagon. What will be the sum of the interior angles of a hexagon? To calculate this, we are going to use an idea that I am going to draw the diagonals from one of the vertex to all other vertices. Let us observe the diagram. Because of drawing three diagonals in this, now that whole hexagon is divided into four triangles. If you find the sum of the angles in each triangle it will be equal to the sum of the interior angles of a hexagon since there are four triangles in each triangle the sum of the angles is 180 so therefore the sum of the interior angles of a hexagon is 4 into 180 degrees since it has six sides it is divided into four triangles so two less than the number of sides that means four into 180 now let us consider one more example here i have drawn a seven sided polygon and the interior angles are marked again i am going to use the same idea let us draw the diagonals from one of the vertex to all other vertices Now, because of drawing like this, now the whole seven-sided polygon is divided into five triangles. The sum of all the angles of these five triangles will be equal to the sum of the interior angles of this polygon. Since there are five triangles, 5 into 180 will be the sum of the interior angles of this seven-sided polygon. Since it has seven sides and the sum of the angles is two less than that is five into 180. Now from this I am going to generalize as a statement. Let us observe that. For any n sided polygon the sum of its interior angles is equals to n minus two straight angles. This is. Now let us discuss one more concept. Sum of exterior angles of a polygon. Now to explain this also I am going to consider a polygon here of seven sided and I am going to extend each side. Upon extending each side outside there will be an exterior angle formed named as E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6, E7. Now let the interior angles are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If we observe at each vertex interior and exterior upon adding the sum will be equals to 180. Now I am making use that idea. So now from the diagram A plus E1 plus B plus E2 plus C plus E3 plus and so on will be equals to since there are let us think that n sides so which will be equal to n into 180 now upon separating 
a plus b plus c plus d and so on e1 plus e2 plus e3 and so on will be equals to n into 180 as we already know the sum of the interior angles so that i am substituting n minus 2 into 180 here and which will be finally will be equal to n into 180 now the sum of the exterior angles will be equal to now transpose n minus 2 into 180 to right side then it becomes n into 180 minus n minus 2 into 180 finally the sum of the exterior angles will be equals to 360 degrees so if it is any sided polygon the sum of the exterior angles is fixed and which will be equals to 360 degrees so the sum of the exterior angles in a polygon is always equals to 360 degrees now by making use of this idea i am going to find the sum of the angles formed at the vertices of a complex figures let us play here i have taken the first question this is the let us mark the angles formed at the vertices so these are the angles formed at the vertices let the naming i'm going to do it as a b c d and e now i want to calculate actually a plus b plus c plus d plus e to this what i'm going to do is inside if you can observe there is a polygon that is pentagon at each exterior side we have there is an angle is formed so that angles i am denoting with as e1 e2 e3 e4 and e5 since vertical opposite angles are equal we can able to write the angles likewise now there are five triangles and some angles are marked in that now separately i am calculating the sum let us observe here so a plus e1 plus e2 plus b plus e2 plus e3 plus c plus e3 plus e4 plus d plus e4 plus e5 plus e plus e5 plus e1 will be equals to 5 into 180 since there are five triangles now i am separating interior and exterior angles here a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus 2 of e1 plus e2 plus e3 plus e4 plus e5 is equals to 5 into 180. As we already discussed in any polygon, the sum of the exterior angles is 360. So that a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus 2 into 360 is equals to 5 into 180. Upon simplification, a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus 4 180 is equals to 5 into 180 now upon transposing this value you will get the sum of the angles formed at the vertex which will be equals to a plus b plus c plus d plus e will be equal to 5 into 180 degrees minus 4 into 180 degrees so finally the sum of the angles formed at the vertices of a complex figure here it is equals to 180 degrees in this particular figure yes now i'm going to do the same way to the rest of the problems also let us observe here is the complex figure now i'm going to mark the angles at the vertices once again and we are naming it as a b c d e f g now i want the sum of the angles a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f plus g again exterior angles i am denoting it as e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 e7 since vertical opposite angles are equal i am going to write the rest of the angles also likewise now again you can apply since uh, there are seven triangles you can observe here all the triangles interior angles upon adding will be equal to 7 into 180 now the same concept i am applying once again observe carefully 
So A plus E1 plus E2 plus B plus E2 plus E3 plus C plus E3 plus E4 plus D plus E4 plus E5 plus E plus E5 plus E6 plus F plus E6 plus E7 plus G plus E7 plus E1 will be equal to 7 into 180. Now, upon separating interior angles and exterior angle like the previous, so which will be equals to A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G into 2 into exterior angle sum will be equal to 7 into 180. Now, again, here I am replacing exterior angle sum again with 360. Now, that will be 2 into 360 will be equal to 7 into 180. So, A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G plus 4 180s will be equals to 7 into 180. Now, upon calculating A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus G will be equal to 7 into 180 degrees minus 4 into 180 degrees, which will be upon simplification, which is equals to 3 into 180, which is nothing but 540 degrees. So, the sum of the angles formed at the vertices of this particular complex figure is equals to 540 degrees. Now, in the same way, I'm going to explain the third question also, which we will use the same idea. Let us observe once again. Here is the complex figure. And now let us mark the angles at the vertices. One second, these angles sum I want and these angles I'm going to name it as A, B, C, D, E, F. We want A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F. Now, again, the same idea, whatever we have applied, the same idea I'm going to use. So inside we have a pentagon upon extension, there will be an exterior angle. Those exterior angles, I am naming it as E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. And now, since vertical opposite angles are equal, the remaining angles will be like this. Now, if you can observe the diagram, there are four triangles and one quadrilateral. That means if we add these angles sum, that means four angles, four 180s plus one quadrilateral, one 360. That means that six 180s. So the same I'm going to write likewise. Let us observe. So A plus E1 plus E2 plus B plus E2 plus E3 plus C plus E3 plus E4 plus D plus E plus E4 plus E5 plus F plus E5 plus E1 will be equal to 6 into 180. Again, like the previous case, I'm separating interior and exterior angles separately. Now, this will be equals to 6 into 180. As we know that, the sum of the exterior angles is always 360. So that I'm replacing with 2 into 360, which will be equal to 6 into 180. So A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F plus 4 180s will be equals to 6 180. Now the angles formed at the vertices that is A plus B plus C plus D plus E plus F is equal to 6 into 180 degrees minus 4 into 180 degrees. So upon simplification, which will be equals to 2 into 180 degrees, which will be equal to 360 degrees. So here the angles formed at the vertices, those sum will be equals to 360 degrees. So this is the general method which we can use to find such type of problems that is particularly angles formed at the vertices by making use of the concept of sum of the exterior angles formed at the vertices is 360. And by using this, I think it will be very simple to calculate this one. So thank you to all. I am T. Lakshminadu, SA Mathematics, ZPHS, Timurazpeta, Munagapaka Mandal, Vishakapatnam District.